So what I'm starting to realise is that I find it really important to correct bad marketing and will prioritise that over any amount of rude comments about my body and also the chances of ever getting a sensible job again. So that's fun. Um, what that means is that at the moment, uh, if you're anything like me and you have too many lingerie pages in your interests on social media, then you are currently getting bombarded with adverts for a bra that claims to be a miracle and inexplicably looks like a bunny. Um, I think they were calling it the Freedom Bra when I last looked. I was a bit suspicious because this to me looks like yet another product that may or may not be an okay product but has very, very outrageous marketing claims, which is a bit of a new thing if you're British because here we have a thing called the Advertising Standards Authority and they tend to deal with that kind of stuff, but apparently that's not a global thing. So crazy marketing claims happen all the time and uh, especially in bras. This time they're not claiming that it cures cancer or prevents cancer, thank God. Which by the way, if you've ever been scared about that, bras are fine, it's not a problem. Um, but they are claiming that bra design hasn't changed in 100 years. It has. Please go and look at the underpinnings museum. Uh, they are claiming that conventional bars are bad for you because they stop your lymphatic drainage and they interfere with your circulatory system. This is absolute nonsense. Please ignore it. Anybody that tells you this is wrong. Uh, they then make a lot of medical claims um, about like wearing a bra will make you droop. Uh, and also it just doesn't matter. Um, and then they have a whole load of like doctors names and alleged surveys and studies and all this kind of stuff. Now I went away and I googled all of those and literally none of them exist. So that's fine. They also said they were a successful Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign. There's no evidence of that either. Um, they also have lots and lots of video clips which to me all look a bit suspiciously not shot in the same circumstances and not in the same style. So I had a quick check around and yeah some of them are clearly being just stolen from other people's content on the internet. So in general, I was not super certain that this was a really great product and it certainly isn't going to do what it claims. But I was intrigued enough to go and buy one. Now I haven't tried any of these like stick on bra things in many years because they didn't work particularly well when I was like 20 something and wore a B cup and so I didn't really think they'd have much odds of doing anything now that I'm 40 something and definitely not a B-cup anymore. So it was with some trepidation that I opened the parcel and got a generic version which was at least about £3 rather than the about £15 that the ones in the adverts are and I'm pretty certain they are identical products like there's no obvious reason why a website that's only been running for three months that's using lots of scammy lying advertising would have a really special unique product when they can just buy it super cheaply on Aliexpress. Um, so I got them out and had a look at them. Uh, they are basically a layer of foam bonded to a layer of sticky silicon, much like you get in holdups or the tops of anything that needs to, garments that need to stick basically. Um, they are much stickier than those. Um, so the only other thing that I could liken them to would be like the jelly insoles that you put into shoes and stuff because then you can take them out, wash them, they still stick, you put them back in again. Um, and the idea is that you put them on your breast, avoiding the nipple, because ripping stuff off our nipples is painful. And particularly painful if, like me, you are one of the people that has nipple hair. Um, and then you use the ears at the top to pull up and give yourself some lift. And then inexplicably they claim that you can chop the top bit off and it will still work, which uh, seems like nonsense to me and I'm still pretty certain it's nonsense. So I got a pair. I put them on. I put them on several hours ago. I have not done a lot in them since. I like jumped up and down briefly to see what would happen. And I have sat at the computer and I've wandered backwards and forwards a few times. And that's about it. And so far what I've learned is Putting a relatively flat thing on a relatively curvy part of your body, shockingly, doesn't work very well. So basically the edges are trying to curl up. And this is particularly apparent on this one. 
but it's pretty bad on both. Also, they've gone asymmetrical over the last few hours, which, I mean, we're all asymmetrical. But, you know, ideally you look for something that, like, might even that out a bit, not make it worse. Um, I personally also could not resist the urge to draw a face on mine, but you might be more mature than me. I don't know. Uh, so the idea behind this is, here's your little bunny ears. Oh, you should be able to move them up like this and give yourself more lift. And you can see that briefly that does work. But if I just breathe and I'm getting a little noise in my ear that's just like... And it's slowly sliding down again. And that's basically what they do. That said, they do not slide down as far as I would be naturally. So basically, usually my breasts these days at my age sit against my rib cage, whereas with these, they are slightly away from it, which is nice. Um, and they do conceal my nipples, which is a bonus on some occasions where you don't want to be pointing the direction. <laughs> um, but that's about it. That's all they do. Um, they also are not going to work well for me with plunging tops and stuff because <sighs> if I have like a particularly deep v-neck or anything like that, the little ear things show. And if you cut the little ear bits off, really all you've got is a very large pasty. And I mean, I've got loads of pasties, so that's fine. I don't really need any more. Um, so that's about it, really. Don't believe the marketing campaigns. I am going to try and peel this one off now and see exactly how painful it is. Okay, that's not great. It's not great. Um, particularly at the bottom. Um, been through worse. And I would say if you are sensitive to silicone, which I sometimes am, then that's also not ideal. Uh, oh, wow, it's still sticky. Ah, duff. Um, it is, by the way, slightly curved, but it still comes away because it's just not as curvy as the average boob. Even the, I think this was the biggest size and it's just no. So if you want something that gives you like a small amount of lift or if you think that because you're younger than me or you have a different body shape or anything like that, these might work, then I totally recommend that you buy them from somewhere cheaper than the people making the scammy advertising campaigns. I absolutely recommend that you do not believe anybody who starts their advertising campaign with bra design hasn't changed for 100 years or any kind of health claim. You can't back them up. The research just isn't there. Um, and if you would like a more conventional bra or a retro bra or an underwired bra or even a sports bra, anything like that, then please come to kissmedeadly.co.uk and I absolutely promise not to make spurious campaigns that a sticky thing will hold up 22 pounds worth of weight because it's not